Before we begin our second contour line drawing today, let's review. Answer this question for me. What is a contour line drawing? And then why is it good to practice contour line drawing? Give me one reason. Hopefully you've said a contour line drawing is a drawing comprised of lines that follow the contour or edge of an object being drawn. Essentially, for these types of drawings, we're only drawing the outline, we're not shading anything. The reason we do contour line drawings as artists is because we want to force our eye to move along the contour of the object as our pencil moves along the paper. So whatever our eye is seeing in front of us, that is what we're drawing on the paper. Another reason why it's really good to practice contour line drawings is because it forces us to draw what we see, not what we think we see. Too often, artists, uh, beginning artists can look more at the drawing itself and less at the subject matter, and that makes the drawing turn out to be out of proportion. So these types of drawings help train ourselves to look more at our subject and less at the paper. So about 80% of the drawing time should be spent looking at the photograph or the subject matter in front of you, and 20% of your time should be spent glancing back at the paper just to make sure that all the lines you're drawing match the edge of the lines you're seeing in front of you. Today we're going to be making a contour line drawing that depicts part of a room or a closet or pantry in your home. So to begin, I want you to take a picture of part of your bedroom, like I said, any room in your house, maybe inside your closet or a pantry. Just make sure that the picture you take shows a complexity of many shapes, sizes, and textures. So a couple of examples of things you could draw would be like a pile of shoes, clothes hanging in your closet, maybe an interesting portion of your living room. I chose to take a picture of the objects in my art closet for their various shapes and contours. Um, so on the right there, you'll see that there's different sizes and shapes of the bottles, their larger lamp sitting in the barrel as a nice contrast to the monotonous repetition of the bottle shapes and sizes. The smooth straight edges of the boxes is also a nice contrast to the roundness of the lamps and bottles. And then that edge of the Christmas tree adds a great organic texture that breaks up the monotony of the consumer made projects. So just make sure that the items in the picture you capture show a complexity of many shapes and sizes. This drawing is gonna be used um, or made using your Micron pens. And I'd like you to complete this drawing in your sketchbook. So for this drawing, because it's a contour line drawing, I only want you to draw the outline of each object and do not shade anything. When you begin drawing, I recommend grabbing a size 01 or 02 Micron pen to get started. And then as you draw, remember to do the following. First, draw what you see, not what you think you see. Spend 80% of the time looking at your photograph or what's in front of you, and only 20% of the time glancing back at your drawing paper. You're going to notice that one of the lamps that I drew is completely drawn in the wrong spot, and that's because I didn't slow down and draw what I was seeing in front of me. I was going way too fast. So because of that, things are out of proportion, they're in the wrong spot, and the urge to want to start over was extremely strong but I don't want you guys starting over with this drawing. That's why I'm having you do micron pens because you can't erase anything. So I expect to see areas in your drawing that are kind of a hot mess, <laughs> like my drawing is here. And so be okay with that. Be okay with like having to work through the ugliness of some areas of your drawing. Um, because the whole point of this is to practice and to learn how to draw and see better. In addition to drawing what you see, not what you think you see, I want you to focus on drawing the shape and proportion of every object. So compare objects to one another. Look at how they relate to one another in size and shape. For instance, the height of my barrel is similar to the height of my lamps. That piece of paper that I'm drawing on the bottom of the barrel, I'm looking at where it's starting and where it's ending on the barrel. When I'm drawing this side of that bookcase, I'm looking at the distance between the bookcase and the barrel, as well as, not even bookcase, more shelving unit, but I'm also looking at where that shelving unit is touching that lamp that's overlapping it. And that's all helping me put things in the proper position. Next, I want you guys to use the different size pens to help imply shadow and form. So for objects that are lighter or have a lighter value to them, 
I recommend using the smaller micron pens like the 0 .005, 0 .01, or 0 .2. For objects that are heavier or are in shadow, I want you to switch pens for them and use the bigger micron pens like the size 5 or size 8. This change of line width is beginning to show line weight. Line weight refers to the thickness or thinness of a line. And line weight helps us imply shadow and form in our drawing without needing to shade anything. So once again, I don't want you to shade this drawing. I only want you to draw the outline of, an, of each object, but I want you to begin implying shadow and form by maybe breaking up your line or using different size pens to imply lighter areas and heavy areas. And the last thing I want you to do is draw slowly. When an artist draws fast, they tend to rush through the drawing, not analyzing angle changes within the contour of each shape. This causes distortion in the shapes of objects and causes things to be out of proportion. So take your time, spend an hour working on this drawing. If you're only able to draw a portion of your photograph in that time and not complete the whole thing, I'm fine with that, as long as you've taken the hour. I would rather have you take your time analyzing what you see in front of you instead of rushing to get everything drawn within that hour time frame. After you draw your closet, pantry, or portion of a room in your house for that hour, take a picture of your contour line drawing and submit it into the assignment for today. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.